Hey friends, this is Trent Young, and I'm the pastor of Patterson Avenue Baptist Church in Comanche, Oklahoma. Today I want to talk to you about this, this idea that you're either getting worse or you're getting better, and there, you just don't stay the same. And so I want to ask you, are you getting better? And if not, if you're currently not where you want to be in lots of areas, spiritually, physically, in your job, whatever, with your marriage, you name it, what's your plan? How are you going to get better? Because you're not going to stay the same. And the old saying that, that only a fool keeps doing the same thing and expects different results. And so I've been thinking about this a lot because I've, I'm always trying to do better um, in lots of areas. I, I, I will tell you, I'm not a great pastor. Um, i always working on preaching because I realize that this is something that I struggle with and I don't feel like I do a good job in some things. So I'm working at it. I'm going to conferences. I'm, I'm not a great pastor sometimes. I don't listen like I should and I don't visit like I should. And so I'm trying to get better in all these areas. And, and I'm and I'm not a great husband. I'm trying to get better at this. I'm not a great dad. I want to be better at this. And and I don't say all that just to, to make you think, oh, he's got issues or problems. I just, all of us need to get better. We all need to get better. We, we can't just settle. Man, that is one of the worst issues that is plaguing people today. Well, this is just the way I am. Oh, man, well, you know, this is just the way life is. No, it doesn't have to be. You can get better. There's no staying the same because if you think you're staying the same, you're getting worse. And so I want you to evaluate yourself. Hey, am I getting better? Am I where I want to be in lots of different areas of my life? If not, what's my plan? Because I also know that if you don't have a plan then you won't achieve the things that you wanted to achieve. You won't get there. And so are you getting better or are you getting worse? In the area that I deal with a whole lot is spiritually. And I think that a spirit, the spiritual part of our lives is huge. And we may not recognize how big and how much impact it has in our lives. And so if you are a follower of Christ, I want to ask you, are you where you need to be? Are you getting better? Have you changed since the time that you have received Jesus as your Savior? If not, what's your plan? You need to do those things that are that are so important. You need to do those spiritual things. And so I'm going to here, I'm going to change the, the slide here. You need to be doing some spiritual things. They used to be called spiritual disciplines, but I guess pe people didn't like the word discipline. It's like, ah, oh, getting whipped or something. But hey, discipline is an important part of our spiritual life. You need to do those spiritual things. And so you need to do prayer. You need to be a person of prayer because God will convey to you the things that he wants you to be about. The Holy Spirit will speak to your heart in those times. So you need to be doing prayer. You need to be doing reading, reading scripture, being in God's word. Are you reading anything in God's word? I, well, I'm too busy. Nah, dude, if you are too busy to be in God's word, you are too busy and you're coming up with excuses, period. That's it. And so you need to cut something else out of your life. Because if you say that you're a follower of Jesus Christ and you're too busy to be in God's word, then you are not being what Jesus called you out to be. And you're living in sin. I hate to say that, but it's true. And I believe me, I have to deal with this too. I'm not just preaching at you. I'm preaching at me too. So... You need to be doing prayer, you need to be doing reading, and you need to be doing ministry. Well, that's what we hire them guys at church for, isn't it? You know them staff guys, all oh, they only work on Sundays and Wednesdays anyway. If that's what you believe, by the way, you follow me around. But you need to be doing ministry. People will say, well, you know, don't feel like a part of the church. It's because they're not doing ministry. They're not doing anything. They're sitting in the pew and soaking and souring. So you need to get involved in the ministry of your church, not just attending on Sunday mornings, because you will never feel a part of a church if you just attend on Sunday mornings. You've got to be a part of the ministry. So find some things that you can be involved in, whether it's the children's ministry or the youth ministry or feeding, when your church is feeding, uh, we're getting ready to feed the football team. Hey, we need people to help with that. Um, maybe it's helping clean or help with the nursery, whatever. There's lots of areas. 
your church, our church, we've got lots of things. In fact, there's things we'd like to do, but we don't have people to do them. So you've got to do those things in order to get better. Because if you just set where you are now, you're going to get worse. So make sure and do those spiritual disciplines. Make sure you're a person of prayer. Make sure you're a person who's reading God's word and that you're involved in the ministry of a local church. Well, those are my things that I'm working on. I hope you'll work on them too. God bless and have a great day.